What is up guys, Jack here and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 8 device. So I'm specifically doing this on iOS 8.4, it will also work on iOS 8.1.3, 8.2 beta 2 or any of the betas I believe and also iOS 8.1.2 I believe. But anyway you're going to want to head over to the Tayars jailbreak website, it's a pretty simple website to find, believe it if you just type it in on any search engine you'll find it. I also have a link obviously down in the description for you to follow uh, but you just head over to that website or look uh, like this. There is an English version and a Chinese version of the website. Make sure you go on the English just for easier. And if you scroll down on the first page, you'll find the download one. So you've got iOS 8.1.3 and 8.4. You've got the iOS 8.2 beta, the iOS 8, 8.1.2. So download obviously which one, whatever version of operating system you're on. This is what I'm obviously doing it on 8.4. And then once you've uh, hit download, the first thing you want to do on your device is go into settings and scroll down to your iCloud and make sure you turn Find My iPhone off. Otherwise, the jailbreak will not let you proceed when you go to start it so let you just scroll down in your iCloud menu and just turn find my iPhone off uh, just type in your password and it will literally turn off for you so then once you've done that you're going to load up the Tayars jailbreak on your computer I choose to untick the free case assistant as it isn't needed and literally just click start jailbreak so I choose to, ch I choose to close iTunes whenever I do it it's just uh, something I always do I bear in mind I've sped this up about five times here just to get you jailbroken as quick as possible so you can see the process and everything and get you started instantly uh, I didn't have any issues with this version as it has been updated quite a bit but if you're doing this on 8.1.3 or anything below 8.4 you may have a couple of issues where it sticks at 20% on the jailbreak what you need to do I'll leave a link in a, a video down below to the tutorial that I watched and it basically you just have to downgrade your iTunes version very simple to do and it will literally work first time so this is the jailbreak all done on my device as I said I did speed this up about five times here this is still sped up here so don't worry if yours takes longer, mine took about 5 minutes all in all and it's just showing you, I'm just showing you this process, I didn't want to cut it so I sped it up just so it's easier for you. So we just loaded up here, just slide to unlock my device. I'm going to head over into uh, Cydia just to start repairing the file systems just so you can see that it all is all 100% working. So just tap on Cydia there and it will load up and we'll be on the preparing file systems. Uh, bear in mind I did also speed this up and I cut a bit out because it's just literally a screen just with this um, spinning logo on it. And once this is done you'll load back in, you can unlock your device. And you can head straight into Cydia and start installing tweaks and everything. Uh, so there is a couple of new things in Cydia. You've now got the extensions or apps. Obviously they're not new tweaks, but it's a new section you can go into. But as you can see, the jailbreak's fully working. Uh, just make sure when you freshly jailbreak, you keep clicking that changes tab for a bit. As you will probably have, uh, most likely have a couple of updates you will need to install. So make sure you just go and install them so it works absolutely fine. As you can see, I've got a couple there. Just go and upgrade them straight away. And then you'll be straight into being able to install your tweaks. So I'm going to have a couple of videos releasing this week with the top tweaks and how to create the perfect jailbreak on iPhone so stay tuned for them subscribe if you're new here for plenty more jailbreak content and thanks for watching catch you next time